You're listening to Artie Tune, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Schlich and today we dive into the unexpected and deep ocean of creative minds with um, Kenny Dretz. I say this time Kenny Dretz. Normally the last time I introduced him was uh, as Kenton Muschenheim <laughs> because he's uh, originally actually a, a German his mother is German uh, and uh, his father is, is half or quarter German actually his, his mother is from Düsseldorf and you know that Düsseldorf is actually our neighbor and, and we call we call Düsseldorf it's, it's a car park from Cologne you have to tell that your mother <laughs> okay Okay. Well hi, hi, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Hey. Hi. Great. Nice to be back. Nice to be Grace, back. Great. Great to see you. That's quite cool. Yeah. 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 Kenny. Yeah. So. So. Tell her your mother. You know, because Kenny. Kenny is living here in Ireland, <coughs> as well like myself since since a while, uh, and we actually as I saw him um, this summer briefly. Um, Playing with 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 his re recent band. What's the what's the name of this recent band? Well, I was playing with Miranda McCarthy. Yeah, I was Miranda as McCarthy. As part of her part of her backup band. Yeah, and uh, so we had just a short chat. I say, hey, <coughs> hey, Kenny, I started actually a new podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me in, and now we made it, which is which is great. Uh, <coughs> we actually I had already a basic idea. Um, how we can split these three parts, but I mean, time flies, and and uh, we we just still at the beginning of 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 Kenny's uh, um, exploring uh, Kenny's time in 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 Washington and uh, the beginning of his band in in the seventies. So I probably it's so interesting. I probably gonna have to invite Kenny next year again for 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 another show <laughs> uh, okay. because. I I think we should continue with 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 that having a little coherent timeline is maybe nice, and um, because we finished last last show um, with with uh, with with a chat about um, samples and uh, with a chat about the, the turn and the change from 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 the identity of the culture of music in general and and that we nowadays are almost <coughs> lost somehow culture of, of, of at least Western music. Um, it's, it's all somehow, somehow on one level and it's not really to define anymore. If, if there is a certain, certain counterculture, which creates new music, but I, I'm not sure about that. I think there, it will happen. There, there, there will happen no, no. something. I, I, I think it's true and it's not true. And the reason I say that is because, yes, there are still, um, you know, local counterculture music subcultures that are very, very tied to a group, a group of people, a social group or a city or a neighborhood or whatever. The thing is, because of the Internet and Spotify and YouTube and all that, those musics, they don't stay local for very long. If they're any good, then you're going to have middle class, middle aged office people listening to that music on the way to work because they read about it on a podcast or heard about it on a podcast. You see what I'm saying? So it's not something has something has not changed, but something also has fundamentally changed. It's both. Yes, music intrinsically is going to come out of communities and social identity, but 
that social identity is not going to be linked to that mu linked to that music and that social identity aren't going to be exclusive to one another for very long and they're not going to be uh it's just not gonna, it's just not possible with the way that anybody can put a song on online and everybody in the world can hear it you know part part of the reason that in the old former times social identity and music was linked is because of distribution because you you'd have some band making music and, and in a neighborhood in, oh. in in Germany or a neighborhood in San Francisco and unless you know not no one would hear it there's no way to hear it and they maybe they make a record maybe they got got it played on their local radio station maybe mm. they got it on the major label like what you hear so far make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now this podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to okay, the show. But there, so that's, that's uh, Haight-Ashbury, right? But there's a million Haight-Ashburys all over the world. There's a million How you call it? Haight-Ashbury? Haight, I'm talking about Haight-Ashbury was the neighborhood of San Francisco in the 19, late 1960s that created the San Francisco psychedelic rock sound of Jefferson Airplane, The Grateful Dead... Etc. So what I'm tr what I'm just trying to say is that yeah. social identity, music, as a as a marker of social identity, it is still continuing, but it's it's never going to be as sticky as it was in the past, because the minute the music gets out there in any way, shape, or form, the entire world can listen to it. You know, I mean, uh, it, it, it popularity. Is going to kill the identity, right? Because you can have this music that 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 let's say just uh, psychedelic, let's say just teenagers who have a lot of tattoos and like to take ecstasy and go to raves are listening to in Florida. So they got their yeah. DJs, they got their favorite artists, and they got maybe their sound. But the minute they get out there and somebody like me who is curious. And looks at looks for music everywhere. I see it's uh, similar. Somebody writing for the New York Times does the same thing. That music is going to be everywhere, and and it won't be stuck to that social identity anymore. That's all I'm saying. Mm, it's interesting. I mean, I mean, uh, it's interesting. I'm, I'm I'm wondering. I'm wondering uh, because I mean, we're not in 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 this in this age group anymore. In, in this teenager group where <clears throat> young people still start to probably nowadays more at home to, to work on their own with their laptop and coming having coming out on a later stage if if they find band members or or th probably through social media you know so i wonder where what is this counter culture of nowadays you know where where is it and uh, I'm, i'm quite convinced there is one or or is or are that just nowadays the hackers are the hackers from nowadays the 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 the, the musician culture uh, 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 counter 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 cultures from the 70s or the 80s or maybe the 90s even techno you know okay uh, i i think i i see where you're going Because we are both of a certain age where we remember the heroic counterculture of the late 1960s and of the 1970s. Yeah. And, and, mu and music was the center of that. Music was the center stage. But now think about it. In my mind, there's at least two areas of creativity of young people that have nothing to do with music. That is about identity and about uh, passion. One is gaming. Related to hacking, hacking, because not too many people are actual hackers, but a lot of people are gamers. In fact, more people are consuming games than they are consuming music. And, and music now is just what you get as a uh, side, uh, as, as a uh, soundtrack to the game. Oh, uh, I would say uh, consuming games uh, in combination with music, you know, I mean, it is. It is yeah, because there's music in the game. If, if you have this BT, was it BTX or whatever games, you know, all the sport games. And, and and you get all this chart music into the sport games uh, sure it, 
if this is the way to discover music, then I guess, so I don't well, know. But, so. but, I, but, I, but I think as, a, as an identity, we're talking about counterculture and about social identity. What happened where it used to be a very clear connection between music and like a particular social identity, like hippies or punks or, or whatever, right? Or ravers even, right? It was so easy. The music sounded like this. The people looked like that. They had, they had certain drug habits. They had certain sexual habits. They had certain political ideas, whatever. They were a, a, a recognizable social group, right? So now, I mean, all I can say is that I know that gaming is a huge way that people are identifying themselves in the world now. I mean, it's so huge, right? Gamers everywhere and playing all the time and their life think about their life there where where in, in a in in, in a gen two generations ago that kid would have been listening to punk or or, or hip-hop or rap or edm or rave or whatever and that would have been rap in their identity now it's the game you know for them it's gaming probably probably gaming and social media isn't it i mean yeah that, gaming that's, is, yeah yep so you, you mentioned hacking i i mean hacking again i think that's a very rarefied you know, field, but definitely maybe in a, in a much broader definition, just being online, social media, you know what I mean? Like just being an online person, online influencers, Instagram, you it, know, uh, it, so that's is... like a rock star without music. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, sure. Sure. I mean, I, I started actually, I started, um, this year to, um, to focus on Instagram as artist. Um, because I, I missed it eight years. Uh, I missed social media in general in eight years. I mean, I was sure, sure, sure I was uh, sure criticizing, questioning Facebook and all that. But uh, what I see nowadays is, you know, you know, um, I think for an artist, um, still questioning is good. But for an artist, not using these major platforms for 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 for, for your own advertisement. Um, um, and for for your own promotion, you 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 lose something, you know. And I mean, especially nowadays in in a time where 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 everything is locked down, you know, it is even, I, even more, even more. I, absolutely, I, I see it absolutely as a possibility to uh, to uh, hold with the wolves. I mean, uh, somehow jump on board and and and. And try to learn uh, the new economy, uh, uh, economies, you know, the new, your new ways of of, of self promotion. You know, it is it is. We live in the twenty first century, um, and, and the second decade is almost. Uh, 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 we live almost in the, already in the second decade, and uh, no, in the third decade. Yeah, in yeah. The third one, and yeah. and. Uh, I I see that 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 is the way at least for now. I, I mean, I'm not sure what's the what's the next big shit. I mean, I hope that uh, Instagram will be at least for ten years on board because I put a lot of effort into it and and it's a huge learning curve to uh, to learn this technology. You know, because it is it is a technology. I see it. Yeah, I, yeah. I see it. I see it as a promotion technology for for artists. I mean, Instagram far more than Facebook. Um, it's but. Both are Zuckerberg, but um, that's uh, that's why I I wonder sometimes what is the next big shit? How? Where are we gonna going with 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 our 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 mu cultural way in mu music as well as in visual art? You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. well, uh, well, you know, the 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 big social networks again popular with the young people. Of the last couple of years is TikTok. I know. I I, I, <laughs> I use it as well. I, okay. I, I use it uh, in purpose because I thought as as uh, as I watched it, said, hmm. I had chats with with other visual arts, and they said, oh, poof, it's just for kids, you know. I say, okay. I will try it, and I will figure out how I can use it as a visual artist in, in order that it makes sense for me some, somehow, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is it's really, I mean, you see normally 10-year-olds... Uh, dancing. Uh, dancing and all yeah, that. Yeah, dancing. You know, which, yeah. which is yeah. really uh, um, some, somehow 
uh, 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 quest quest questionable as well, you know. So I mean, it is. Uh, uh, um, I'm worrying a little bit. So, so how many pedophiles uh, love it to be on a page like that, you know? Well, I mean, that unfortunately is part, you know, danger of social media all o from the beginning. Yeah. All yeah, but, of all but, of it, but, from MySpace but, forward. But TikTok made 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 really the top by now because because the acceptance for for an eight year probably already old boy or girl you know being the, the star you know and 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 uh, behaving already like 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 an entertainer you know absolutely it's, no it's, it's uh, fascinating it's fascinating and you know as far as I know the other big social network new one is called Twitch and that's was again I know, I know it, for oh, I'm on that as well that's for gamers but of course yeah. all of these are gone bigger than their original purpose TikTok was supposed to be about dancing Twitch was supposed to be about game gaming but I know people are putting music videos on both you know like it's it's a new, sure. It's, sure. it's just sure. becoming another tw platform another social network yeah. platform sure I mean I mean I, I was I was looking into Twitch Last year or, or or the year before, I don't know. So I have an account there as well, but I'm not gonna use it because as a as an a lone standing visual artist, you can't take over the world what normally a whole co production company is gonna looking after it, you know. So so, uh, but that are all major players in 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 a, in a world like this, you know. And and I mean. Uh, what will you do as an artist if you're not if you're not dealing with that you know so you going down like that it is the same like like using computers in the 90s i'm already mentioned that you know i was in the 90s i said no i'm not going to use a computer Due to uh, socio-political reasons, you know, so taking away working space and da 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 da, and yeah. then, <clears throat> and then, as I saw, and you probably know, know better than me, that all the hippies in California start using them in the eighties or in, in the early nineties. I said, yeah. "What the fuck? That <laughs> if, you're, if you're not gonna using them, you're getting you're, you're becoming a computer computer dyslexic." And, and thankfully, I I started then uh, ninety eight, ninety nine, you know, to start using them and i mean now now i can build my own computer together and i think you work as well in a computer business somehow don't, don't you i do yeah 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 so i do I, I do website and database development so so applications or what just um d d some code you know basic um website code yeah. 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 yeah and also i do a little bit of uh, uh one database program so you know it's i know like four or five languages not yeah. and it's i don't do this a lot i do it enough to keep eating <laughs> and i don't i don't follow the trends and it's it's amazing the the, the yeah. development in that field you literally cannot get away from it because you come back a half a year later and there's brand new languages and brand new platforms and brand oh new yes everything. yes yeah and I, see... I'm, I'm frankly amazed that i can still yeah. make any money doing <laughs> uh technical website development because well, uh, the, you know the the skills i know are from uh, five years ago and I, I don't i don't devote time to staying up with the new uh platforms or the new languages but yet this is the web so there's a lot uh, of old code and old see, languages out there you, you see i already had enough with html somehow you know and i stopped it in 2008 and i decided that left no you're not a businessman you you're an artist you know this was 2008 that means I miss. I mean, I used to be web designer as well, and and f up to two thousand eight, two thousand nine, and then I was so fed up with 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 learning all the new standards every month again because everything. There we changed. go. Yeah, uh, just as I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I that I said no way. So so, so and, I, and I mean, I went I went back to school, did, did studying my art and all this stuff, you know. So and now or as at, at the beginning of. And actually, before COVID, I realized that life, if you're not, if you're not gonna using the sources, you know, so so you 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 you, ha you have to do it, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. And I realized. Well, well wait. Getting back to we talking about identity and yeah. culture, right? Yeah. The the other the other one I wanted to talk about. 
Yeah. Because we're, you know, basic sort of idea that what used to be rock and roll and rock and roll is the big heroic form that cultures linked on to and youth cultures identified with. But what I saw in the last 10, 15 years, particularly in Chicago and New York and in America is yeah. food, cooking. Like you go, I mean, can you imagine, could I have imagined in the 1970s and 80s going into, I go into restaurants in Chicago. Yeah. It's like every, they have it so you can see who's cooking. They, yeah. It's like a rock band. They all have tattoos. The girls have dyed hair. They're all excitable. They're chopping. They're yelling. They're like, order up, chop, chop, chop. You know, and they're like, and it's it's high tech. They got the blower, shh, you know, the burner, you know, and that, that little eyedropper thing. I mean, it's, <laughs> It's intense. It's like, it's it's rock and roll, and 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 the for the and for the diners, you know, um, you know, restaurant culture. I read one quote that was basically saying, yeah. look, you know, for the typical yuppie, even for the typical young yuppie, young urban person, restaurants are central more than it used to be going to concerts. Now it's going out to eat because food foodie culture became so big both okay. on the consumer side and yeah. on the pr creator side and you've got these rock star chefs like david chang and then of course you know you're not going to have the super social identification yeah. but it's still going to be sort of there yeah. you know depending on money and depending on if you were herbivore or a locavore or a vegetarian or a vegan or a Meat, meat, meat only person. You know what I mean. Yeah. What mm -hmm. your flavor, but still, in more in general, the idea that food, restaurants, cooking, chef, chef, chefs oh. became this whole thing, like kind of like rock and roll did. You know, it, it back in the day. Yeah, I mean, Jamie Oliver was probably one of the first rock stars, wasn't he? Yeah, well, you know, he wasn't the first, but he he is a first bigger. He typical. He was big because he was he was friendly, cute, beautiful. His stuff yeah. was easy and M musician yeah, but, as well. Okay, well, you know, people Drama. like to, like to watch him. Yeah. yeah, but all I'm trying to say is that these are cultural areas that didn't exist when you or I were coming up in the in the 70s and and 80s. In other words, there was no gaming culture. There was no social media influencer culture. No. There was no hacker culture, and there was no um, foodie culture. I mean, so okay. we, now there's all these other areas, both to to be a maker, as a creative, and also to identify with, as you know, a, a, a punter. But the thing is, there it's just there's just so much that it's not like everybody's gonna be a Jamie Oliver fan. Uh, You're gonna have a, a guy who's a punk rocker, a total yuppie, a doctor, a guy who's into LSD and ayahuasca, and they're all into Jamie Oliver. So you, it's not the same as like they are all hippies. They all have long hair. They all smoke pot. It's fair. Interesting. Do you see what I'm trying to say? The, very the, the social, times, the social identity right? thing is broken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's broken. It's, I mean, the, the thing is nowadays um, we are. Um, it's actually the first first time in history that 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 we are consumers and producers in personal unit. You know. Oh no, that's social media. That's fascinating. You know, and and that 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 what, what you mentioned in the eighties. Uh, uh, um, I would I would probably um, um, the, the substitute in the eighties was actually the 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 me still the media. I mean, the media is a message, um, and in the eighties the, the the message was television. You know, uh, so so the the the, 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 um, the actually and the privatization of, of of tv in germany i mean america was quite forward in that you know the americas americans they had already in the 60s probably 200 different programs you know and we in germany we 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 came to that in the 80s because because uh the change of 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 of, of, of from the left wing to the right wing you know and yeah. i was from 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 helmut schmidt to uh to um i think it was was it cool or who was in between i don't know but but it was it was a huge change and i was not happy with that because before that we just had three or four programs you know uh in television good good shows you know paid by by tax uh taxpayers you know and and then all all the shit started and we took all over the, the same habits from the americans you know so people getting superficial 
uh, you know, so and that's 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 eventually the aftermath. What 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 we have now, you know. So well, well, another aspect of the um, consumer as producer, or producer, you know, like you are what you're consuming is reality television. They don't have to. I mean, I know a lot of reality TV star and social media influencers. It's like reality TV. When you were saying that, I was more thinking about social media. Like we're all consuming social media, but the social media companies are, are aren't making it. The product is us. We yeah. made the product for ourselves to consume. It's an incredible yeah. business idea. Yeah, 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 like yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah, all they have to yeah, do is yeah. just you know it, it's outrageous, and it, 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 you have to really get your head around it. And, yeah, and, yeah. An, and an extrapolation. It is very of interesting. That, it is. Yeah, so and an extrapolation of that, of course, is reality television. And so look at Donald Trump. You know the the thing, the reason why he DJs. got elected. People know him very well. People, there's people who would watch him every single day yeah. for eight years in his reality TV show. So it's basically like he is like so much better known to these people. They know that he's a, 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 a you know, all of his bad uh, tendencies, they already know all about that. They watched yeah, him sure. be the guy sure. in, in his TV show. You're fired and all this stuff. Yeah, 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 they yeah, love yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, they, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's kind of like reality yeah, yeah, yeah. TV. They, 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 people said it was incredibly meta when an actor became president of the United States. The, that the was Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Yeah. But it's even more crazy when a reality TV star did it because I didn't how many wonder. films did Reagan make? Maybe 15, doesn't matter. Um, there were like, what? I mean, Trump, eight, Trump eight, comes... eight years of maybe 300 episodes of The Apprentice. You know what I mean? So much more exposure. And he doesn't even have to try to be anybody else. He just gets to be his crazy fucking self, you know? And, and Trump come, came us back from, 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 from the wrestling side, you know? That's, oh, yeah, that side, too. That's, that's like, yeah. That's, yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. the reason why he calls everyone with, 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 with a fancy wrestling name, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, fa yeah, fancy yeah, yeah. Susie. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cutie yeah, yeah, Angela, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But the other thing is consumer and producer. And then we come back as well again to samples, you know, DJs, you know? Right, right, yeah. So, well, again, I mean, I think it's very. It, I think. You and me being roughly the same generation, we I'm born, are. I'm born '62, and you? Yeah, no, we're exactly the same generation. I'm si I was born '61, yeah, yeah. so our right, generation. Yeah. Think of what we've seen and the changes we've seen, and that and 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 more what we've been talking about this whole episode. Just the change of the of the structure of media and identity has changed so much in our lives. It it's like okay, the mechanisms is one thing, but just how the mechanisms affected the structure of, re of identity and reality and consume and how you're, sure. how you're making, sure. what you're making, how you're promoting. It's just been a, we've seen so much changes. But here we go, you know, if we understand, for instance, that, that, that in, in, in the antics times, the, uh, the um, who was it, Pythagoras or, or the old, old ancient folks, they, they, uh, the um, philosophers invented the, or the mathematicians x, y, and z axis, and and established it. You know, yeah. And, and before, before the x, y, and z axis was uh, invented, um, the folks in society didn't didn't know that 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 we live in a three dimensional room. You know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, all yeah, in yeah. All, all of a sudden, the mindset changed. Completely yeah. from, from, from from a whole generation, from, actually from the whole world. Eventually, you know, artists started to 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 realize that they can draw in three dimensional, you know, so, and da, da 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 da. So this is just just an example, you know. So how things like this, like nowadays, the virtual reality as well, and 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 the, 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 there's, there's a lot of different realities where we are in will change us too, you know. I mean, um, and there I come back to to shamanism, art, and digital culture, you know. So, no? so I mean, uh, uh, transhumanism will be a big thing, you know. So, and and uh, yeah, we're in yeah. the middle of it. I mean, I find it interesting. So, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't want want to get bitter about it. I I use it, and and I I'm still excited somehow. Um, I decided, you know, you know, to still 
it is uh, a technology, yes, but we always have to speak uh, about uh, a socio-political action. You know, so as long as long as technology is in the hands of of the left wings and 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 in balance with the people, okay, you know. So and everything. I mean, even the media is, is uh, where uh, consumers and I mean we are nothing else than technology either. You know, so in in in, oh. in, the, in the big part of the universe. So yes, that's it. You know. So I would say, look, do you want to add something? I would say this has been a great three episodes. Uh, we it seems like we have a lot to talk about. Ah yes, sure you, still. You've been making me th think about certain things. So maybe next year we come back for another three. Absolutely, I'm looking forward for that because uh, we could go for six. I mean, we, we, maybe we're gonna. <laughs> we, no, it's like it's like Trump when 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 he wanted to get his next election, he said. I'm going to come back for four, <laughs> but then you're going to give me another eight or 12. <laughs> Here we so, go. Yeah. And if, yeah. if, if we show, if we, we show this show, you know, probably the elections are already over, you know. So it's, okay. It's, it's, I don't know what's going to happen, uh, but in, inshallah, you know. Hey, so thank you for having you. Okay. Um, thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye. See you later. Bye bye. Uh, this is a listener-supported show. I feel honored if you subscribe to this show. You can follow me non-financial with the following click on one of my Instagram accounts. Ah, that was great. Or subscribe the visual version of this podcast on YouTube via the link below. If you like what you hear, be sure to tune in this Sunday for the third part of this Attitude Audio Triptych. If you want to leave a donation for a coffee or a bus ticket, just follow the donation link via the Attitude Podcast account. Eventually, I would like to thank, through this medium, all my members and listeners of the I Love West Cork Artists Network from all over the world. Just to remember myself that without you, this year couldn't and wouldn't happen. You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion and design podcast. Artitude, never so close again. Ah! That was too close.